right, here we are, and another Samplitude tutorial on normalization in honor of Geek Week on Google and YouTube. I've loaded various songs from various artists that I've recorded over the years, and uh, as you can see, the amplitude in all these uh, varies quite a bit. Now, this would be similar to the project that you're loading in for your CD, where some songs are more powerful than others. And in order to keep the listener from getting up to adjust the volume each and every time for every song, you have to normalize the volume output so that they can play the CD from beginning to end and, and not jump to the volume. Okay, so what we've got here is a bunch of different songs by different artists, and some of them are rock songs like this. And some of them are more melodic songs like this. And, show you how I feel. and some of them are uh, easy reggae songs like this. Okay, so as you can see, the waveform tells a little bit of the story, but it doesn't tell the whole story. A lot of times, um, these waveforms here are not fully compressed like these are right over here, but yet they're louder. So if I were to, to play this, it's not anywhere as loud as this one, even though the peak is, is higher. So, even though it tells some of the story, it didn't tell all the story. So what you have to do is start with actually more your acoustic numbers that don't have that bass-driven compression going on. And something with an acoustic guitar and a, and a vocal would be a good place to start. And what you do is take that song, the one that's the least, least compressed and the softest sounding song, highlight it with your right mouse button, go up to effects, go to amplitude, go to normalize, and it gives you a choice right here. Now you can make this, here's the normalize to 100%, so you can go 200%, 100, 95, 50. Okay? Or you can go to anything in between, or more. So, but let's take 100%. We're going to take that one so that the very peak that it sees will be 100%. And we're going to say OK. And it expands that song so that the peaks, if we look at this, the peaks right here are just touching the upper limit of the dynamic range of Samplitude. We know that it's not going to, is not going to overshoot and won't have any distortion from overload. So this pretty much sets the standard. So now we've got something that's a soft sounding song that is fully expanded to the limits of Samplitude. Then what you want to do is try and mac, uh, match the rest of the songs. Like if we were to take this song, and it's a heavy driving song. So we highlight that and we come up to effects and we go to amplitude, go to normalize, and we say, uh, let's put that down to about 75%. There's 75, say okay, and it shrinks it down. Now let's listen to it. When last we sleep. Now let's listen to the other one that we just normalized, track 11. Now let's go back to this one. Okay, those are pretty comparable. So you get the idea. What you do is you go along and you, you pick the songs that are the loudest. You highlight it, you go up to effects, amplitude, normalize, and you bring it down 
let's say, to 75%, and you start there, and then you listen to it. It's still a heavy driving song, but it doesn't have the volume output that it did. So we go back to track number 11. Now the vocal there sticks out quite, and here it's just all compressed to one level. So you would expect this song to be a little bit louder as it is. The point of this whole thing is you don't want to have the listener jumping up to adjust the volume. So it's if it's within the tolerable range for yourself and you make a test CD and you play it and you re you go back over it scrutinize it and you can make the determination if it's okay or not pick an a nice average listening level and uh, have a couple people have their input on it that's about all on normalizing thanks for watching